time no see. It's been a minute since I've made a video, but here we are with Chess Story by Stefan Zweig, an Austrian writer, also known as The Royal Game. And this little novella is only 84 pages long, and I found out about this author from Wes Anderson's movie, The Grand Budapest Hotel. It's the first time I heard his name mentioned. He was inspired by this writer for that movie, and mainly for the book World of Yesterday, which talks about the turn of the century, um, 1900s uh, Europe, um, which I plan on getting to eventually, but I came across this at a bookstore and I decided to get it. <clears throat> And this was actually the last book he ever wrote before him and his wife committed suicide um, during World War II um, after the Nazis forced them to exile and had a pretty crazy life story. But he was born in 1881 in Austria and he uh, died in 1942. He was a novelist, playwright, journalist, biographer. Um, in the 1920s and 30s he was the most widely translated author, and he was raised in Vienna, which is in Austria, which uh, Mozart and all the really fancy, like, um, not revolutionary, but, uh, I mean, I guess it, it was revolutionary, but Renaissance, that's what I was looking for. Um, <clears throat> uh, and he also, he studied a lot of Balzac, Dickens, and Dostoevsky. Um, after the rise of Nazism, he lived in England, New York, and then Brazil, where him and his wife um, passed away. Um, and then also wrote, he was friends with Sigmund Freud. So he was very well known. Kind of, I feel like he's the Austrian version of Zola, where in Europe he's really well known. And then in here, in the U.S., especially like after all this time has gone by, you don't really hear of him too much. But ever since I've been reading more European literature, I've been finding out how well known these guys actually are. And these are, you know, the typical authors that everyone kind of knows about there. But for me, <clears throat> they're new. But, and I gave this story a 5 out of 5. I really enjoyed it. It went in a direction where I was not expecting it's pretty normal for the first 40 pages, and then um, you finally start getting backstory on one of the characters, and it just kind of goes in a direction you wouldn't think, and I really enjoyed it. And um, the only thing I didn't really dislike, or the only thing I did dislike was I feel like the ending could have been a little better, but I mean, it was a good ending. I just was expecting something depressing, I guess. I've been reading a lot of. Uh, gothic literature so maybe that's why I just wasn't expecting uh, such a good ending but um, what I really liked about this was I mean obviously I picked this up because I like chess it says chess story and I didn't really know any more than that but <clears throat> it really has a lot of themes of like madness of like psychological torture and like what it means to be great in any field and how to be the best in the world and kind of what that you know, yeah what it takes just like sometimes the cost isn't worth it <clears throat> but so this ma is mainly about the best chess players in the world um, the guy at the time who's the best I can't remember where he's from um, but he has like some mental disorder where he pretty much only the reason he's the best in the world is because that's all he does he lives and breathes chess and um, the story starts out with the main character seeing this famous chess player get on this ferry boat and they're like taking I believe they're going out of New York and they're like taking a ferry somewhere else I can't really remember but the whole story is just like on this ferry and this guy sees this chess player and then this really rich dude who, who has a lot of pride and like can't believe that this is the best guy that's in the world um, he's convinced by the main character not really convinced but 
he decides to pay the world chess champion to play him. And so it just kind of goes from there, and then the game is interrupted by a guy who's sitting and listening in and watching from the side, and he ends up kind of becoming the main character. <clears throat> I'm sure, I feel like I'm not explaining this very well, but it's just kind of hard to explain. But um, but yeah, so it, and then it goes into this backstory of this side character who like you don't even really hear about till the middle, and then all of a sudden like 20 pages is of his backstory and like how he became like a crazy good chess player because he was the only one that could compete with the world champion um and so it kind of goes into the story of like why he's so good as well and honestly yeah i would suggest this uh i'm hoping to get to zweig some more zweig soon um i have another book the post office girl which is also about World War II, and then The World of Yesterday, which I for sure want to get to, and then I have a few others written down, but <clears throat> I definitely would suggest this if you like stories about madness and about chess and about, you know, just what it takes to be great and, you know, the cost that comes with sometimes. Um, it was a really good character study psychological and honestly I, I wouldn't I don't know I, I didn't really need anything else from this story uh, once I was finished with it I was pretty satisfied and I was surprised which is one of my favorite things reading is like I like not knowing what's going to happen and this took a turn that I was not expecting and uh, and yeah I, I suggest this so if you haven't heard of them or if you haven't read this story definitely give it a shot It'd just take a day so yeah thanks for listening